were watching it in the wings or you were watching it in the audience. And we are so grateful that it's, it's come back to Luxor and it was such a pleasure to restage it. Um, it is so good to see you here. I'm going to say this again and again, but we are here to remember Dogen's legacy and bring this community together again. So good to see alums. We need you, we want you. Please come back and talk. This is how our art form survives and how it thrives, supporting each other and being a community. We need you. So it's been said many times, but it could not be expressed enough that Mr. Martin was an inspirational figure, not only to his likes of students, but to the faculty his friends, and to the parents and families of the students. The shock wave of his passing ran through us all, and I know so much sadness with COVID restrictions and not enough time to be with him was felt deeply. We are so happy to finally gather. It took a year <laughs> and a lot of planning, and this event and the scholarship that we're presenting tonight um, couldn't be done without many people that I'd like to thank now. The initial idea for the scholarship came from Patty Goodenberger, mother of Luxor alum Stephanie. Patty recognized that Luxor Down students are often in need of financial help with the prohibitive costs of travel and accommodation for summer courses and access to continued dance training during time off from school. This scholarship that you are helping us build tonight in Don's name is to help alleviate some of those costs and continue the love and work, notice those four letter words that keep coming back, <laughs> of Mr. Martin instilled in his students, in you here tonight. I want to thank Patty so much. I also want to thank lots of parents of Owen, Chelsea Bacula Fields,
he had the foresight to film Mr. Martin in King Hall 2 while he was alive. I also need to thank Heather Seabold, whose film you're also going to see later. Um, this is going to be part of a longer, ongoing project we are working on, conserving Mr. Martin's words and work with Lester Horton and Larsa. Thanks and gratitude belong to Virginia and Robert Farr Jones, Christina Bergen, who performed so beautifully just now. Leo Gallo, who also helped uh, stage Casa, Nancy Davey, the costumes, we washed them back and forth, back and forth, thank you. Um, Yasha and the Motor Studios, thank you to our tech crew over here. Also to Oliver Harlan, Lux's student who's just graduated and played so beautifully through the beginning. Thank you so much. And Alexa, who helped me run everything while I was organizing this. Um,
in particular, my mom and my grandpa, Bridget Kelvin.